Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast we're known as. Uh, no go. comment. Oh, I can comment all fucking day. No comment. So, let's start off with uh, an amazing, amazing Reddit thread that I came across. Okay. On the r slash army subreddit. It came across my feed on Twitter. Okay. As I think I've explained on the show that I don't typically go to Reddit. I see the content on Twitter. Look at the comments there. No, no. Usually there's not even comments. What happens is if a if a post reaches a certain threshold on Reddit, okay, it's automated that that headline and then the whatever the the snippet of like the first sentence or two will show up in the tweet. There's like an image sometimes and this and that, whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. But so, but the thread has to be popular enough okay. and then it automatically does All right, it. so this one apparently is super popular. Yeah. And then there was a follow-up. Okay. That I saw this morning. Oh gosh. All right, so what's the original? Let me pull this up real quick. I saved it to my phone just in case it got deleted. Oh. Because I was worried. Is that worried. a thing? I mean, it could be. It could be deleted by the admins. It could be deleted by the user themselves. Okay. There's no stopping it. Reddit could delete it, just okay. like anything on any other social media platform. Okay. But I wanted to make sure that I could read this okay. because it's amazing. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm right. so ready. The title. Yes. Caught off guard in the midst of utilizing a coping me- mechanism. Need input. Okay. Bear in mind, this is on the r slash army subreddit. This is. An NCO in the army currently okay. telling this sort story from his side. Okay. Okay. This was first. And then his soldier story is the subsequent one. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Can't believe this happened. I'm a professional, damn it. I built a solid reputation as a tough but fair NCO, and now one of my subordinates saw me in a compromising situation. Yes, I was with my Asuka. Asuka, is that how you say it? It's Star Wars, I think. Body pillow. And yes, I was watching hentai. It's a personal escape from the relentless stress of army life. Everyone has their way to unwind, but I never intended for anyone to find out about mine. When he knocked the first time, I was so engrossed I didn't hear it. The second time, after he had already seen me, I scrambled to pull myself together. I could see the shock on his face even though he tried to hide it. I'm worried. Time that out, it, time out. What is hentai? Like ten, tentacle cartoon porn. Was he like also fucking the pillow? Yes. I'm worried that every time I see him in formation, there's going to be an awkward tension. I'm mortified. <laughs> but I have just, to stay. Just a little awkward. But I have to stay professional and hope this blows over. Maybe he'll understand that even NCOs need an outlet. Hopefully he can respect that and keep this incident to himself. You know what? So what if I got caught going to pound town on my Asuka body pillow? Everybody's got their kinks and mine just happens to be a bit more unconventional. <laughs> it's not like I was wearing a gimp suit. I'm an NCO who gets the job done. <laughs> <laughs> Justifying it and, by his rank. And, uh, and I'm damn good at it. What I, <laughs> what I do on my own time is my business. The kid walked in on me because he had some emergency task. And yeah... He saw more than he bargained for. Big deal. If he can't handle seeing a superior in a vulnerable moment, that's on him. We're all human, and we have our ways of coping. Mine happens to be anime and a body pillow. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for who I am or what I do in my own in my downtime. If anything, this should teach him a lesson about respecting personal space and privacy. I'll look, I'll look him in the eye during formation and carry on as usual. If he wants to transfer because of this, that's his problem, not mine. I do need to address this indirectly, though. Maybe have a talk with or talk about the importance of privacy and personal coping mechanisms in, in a more general sense. I hope that he can see past this and still respect me as an NCO. It's a difficult situation, but it's an opportunity to show that even leaders are human and that everyone needs a way to manage stress. Wow. And edited after that. This was still last night, so it may have been edited since then. I didn't read any of the comments or anything. Okay. But the next edit was, edit, I need to order a McDonald's apple pie. What is he going to do to the apple pie? (laughs) You know damn well. 
what the fuck? Oh, gosh. The fact that not only does he justify it, but he turns it around (laughs) and it's the kid's fault for walking in on him. Okay, I will give him one thing and one thing only. He's not harming anybody by what it it is. And it's deleted now. I saved it in my bookmarks on the top. Oh. So yeah. Yeah, you did a good thing then. <laughs> um, okay, so his, I'll I'll give him the one thing. He's not physically or emotionally harming anybody else in the process. Obviously, the poor kid walked in on him. That was not planned. But what yeah. he does on his downtime is his own prerogative. I give him that. But the rest of it, the fact that he puts it on the kid and just, you know, it's his own fucking fault for walking in and sorry, poor was, guy. He's was... scarred for life. That He's probably like 18, fresh out of high school and he is scarred for life now. What? 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 You don't make that face often, so what? The the user. Oh my God. The well, user that Is said, it somebody you know? No, but they've been on Reddit for a while and they're a medic. So they touch everybody and else's it's, and stuff. It's, and it's not an anonymous account that the soldier that says that he caught his NCO. But sometimes this happens, okay? Sometimes it happens where people will, like, join in on the oh, banter. Oh, kind of like a serial killer and then a copycat yeah, killer. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So, and, and there's actually no no text to this. There's just comments. So on Twitter, or I mean on Reddit, you can just do, like, a title. You can do Reddit's. It's a weird system. I don't system. understand. It's, it's not at all like how Facebook or Instagram or Twitter work. Okay. It's, it's, yeah, I don't understand. It is its own thing that's bigger than okay. all those platforms in a lot of ways. Um, So the entire post is, I caught my NCO on the barracks fucking a body pillow of Asuka, and then in parentheses, Neon Genesis Evangel- Evangelion. I don't know. Never watched Star Wars. Anything Star Wars touches, any spinoffs. I've never watched any of it. I just know that I know people who are obsessed with it, and, and that's how I know that that name is Star Wars. Okay. I think Disney Plus did a show, and she has like tentacle hair or something like that. I have no it's idea. Like a fake Cthulhu I have alien no idea. person. I don't know. Next, Anyways. next person says, "Please be real. Uh, look, everyone has a kink. At least his aren't kids. That's yes. Yep. Right. Like I was saying before. At yep. least yes." Um, I'm not going to click this link because it just says wrong. The word is wrong and it's hyperlinked and I'm not clicking that. It, this is Reddit after all. I'm not mm-hmm. clicking that. Uh, okay. She looks just like any other anime girl. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, are anime characters like 14 years old? Edit. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't watch that's, anime. That's not a good look. I don't watch anime, but I believe most Star Wars characters are supposedly adult age but there's also okay we gonna, don't really gonna, know no we're gonna get we're gonna get sciencey here for a second okay okay um age is based on your point in time and space people okay. that are not on our planet revolving around our sun are going to age completely differently than we age and at different rates than we age okay it's, I guess what should actually be said is they present yeah. as yeah. an adult or a child versus hypothetically. So, okay. Hypothetically, Thor, 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 this is example. an adult yeah. that Thor, he is. Thor, for example, claims to be like 15,000 years old. Right. 15, because 000. he's like what? A Norse god? But because he doesn't live on Earth, he could really just be 40 years old. Okay. If he had. But because he's in a different place in space. Okay. Okay. So we want we want the science way here real okay. quick. But I brought it. I reeled it in with okay. the four time. Yeah. yeah. Reel it so, in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mind your business, private. Oh, and somebody put in big letters. He was on his own time, not army time. <laughs> so you won't get this, but it would have been funny yesterday. Uh, Sergeant's time training. It's a Thursday thing in the military. It's like. It's not like downtime, but that's like more like when your squad or your team, you focus on either team building or continuing education or learning a new skill. Lame. It all sounds lame. It's, yeah, it's nothing like a a normal job. Okay. Anyways, what's next? But that's all, that's usually on Thursdays. And this happened to come out on Thursday. So it's all time to. Oh, okay. 
So he was having his Thursday downtime fucking his pillow. Yeah. Uh, Boy Scout rules of D's, dude. D apostrophe S. Uh, you need to watch. Wait, you need to watch. You need him to watch you fuck that pillow to set the universe back in equilibrium. Ooh. Afraid that's the only way to repair your dominance. working relationship at this point. Yeah, somebody did say that yesterday. They're like, if you didn't stare him in the eyes while you busted that nut, you're not a real NCO. Who? <laughs> okay. Real talk, though. Would you be able to continue or would it like instantly be lost for you? The door shut. No, no, no. I meant. With him standing in the doorway, I don't know how, looking at you like I don't know how how deep he was into his into his strokes. Like if like once you're right there, like and you can't stop it, you might just have to. Oh have, you might just have to do it and wipe it off as fast as possible, and then run him down before he gets far enough away that he can tell somebody. Because <laughs> you don't want to be running out naked. You need to finish, and you don't want the stain when you. You catch need. Him. Do you hear that? You need to finish. No, no, I'm saying if if you were if you were in that motion and it started coming out, you can't like it's not like peeing where you can just pinch it off. Oh my god. <laughs> just start placing uh Asuka stickers and paraphernalia in places you know uh he'll see okay, but that's won't expect. Funny. Yeah. That's funny. Minus the fact that he'll probably get in a lot of trouble with other people in the army for defacing property. Have you seen The Wire? Enjoy your promotion. The Wire yeah. was a it was a TV series. Yeah, it was a TV series. I watched it was like mid to late two thousands, I believe. Okay. Um. Yeah. The rest of this, I mean, some of them are funny, but they're so like interspersed. But the next thing that I want to show you is on my computer here. Okay, I'm ready. And this goes back to Mike Glover. So let's talk about Mike Ooh, again. And oh, naughty Mike. The the comments, I. One the guy that we what were talking comment? about, the guy that we were talking about, I don't know the order the episodes are gonna come out, but the guy that we were talking about about the age thing kept coming back and saying, So I was like, show me oh, the yeah, documents. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. like, I don't need to show Did he finally present them? No. Oh. So I sent him, he said in a black rifle coffee interview that he said that he joined in ninety three. Okay. The black rifle coffee interview for Coffee or Die magazine, he literally says, I joined in ninety seven. So the guy just misheard. And it's in the written article that goes along with it. And he's just standing by something that he misheard. Then there's an yeah, then there's another video okay. from another outlet that I've never heard of. It's like ten seven to ten minutes long. It's just okay. it's just Mike talking. I obviously he's responding mm -hmm. to something, but it's just him talking through an interview style format. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about how he joined September nineteen ninety seven and then he ETS'd two days before nine eleven. Ah. He did a four-year contract from 97 to 01, got out, went into the guard, was getting ready to start school, and then turned around and went back active duty again because gotcha. of 9 11. Gotcha. So you're so just fucking wrong, So this guy is just wrong, yeah. and he is standing. It's, it's on Mike's LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. It's on it's on his bios. Like what, but what does this guy even get for making up this random ass lie about him being he, 50 years old? He wants, he wants the age gap to be even bigger to make it a bigger deal. And he's the only one saying this? Yeah. So weird. There's been other people that have been like kind of wrong, but they've been like guessing. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They yeah. haven't been firm. Like he's yeah. old, she's young. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Yeah. We get yeah. it. Like somebody's been like, oh, I think he's this. Mm -hmm. And like he literally says... And right. it's literally, you you just came back from saying that you read the thread on Twitter. But people don't actually read is the problem. Yeah. But I'm I'm saying you can't, don't go say that you did something. Right. And then come back. All you're doing is proving proof. that you're yeah. so, inept. So this popped up and wasn't searching for Mike or anything. This popped up. Oh, did somebody finally? This popped up on Twitter. This is amazing. So, hold on, hold on. I, the, my, I, my eyes are averted. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm ready. Who <laughs> that? So, the, the meme that we're looking at is a uh, anti-2A, anti-gun rally. And it has a girl wearing, like, a metal sign. She's got it, like, on a chain around her neck. And it says, it's got, it's, got a, it's got a pistol with a circle with a line through it. And it says, real men use fists. 
and then it's Mike. So wrong on so many levels. Yep. Ooh, but who made that? I don't know. It was on Twitter. Mm -hmm. so. They are wrong for that one. Sure, but it's still. I mean, they're wrong for that one. That was that was that was a no no. Moving along here. Mm. Oh, man, we're already fifteen minutes in. You know, what we didn't talk about. We didn't talk about nonphelps.com. So they can go get insurance or America's Technology Center of Excellence, Lemax Media. Go check those out. Links in the description. They'll also probably appear on the screen, but you can't click it. So moving along to my my little notepad here. Okay. I'm ready. We need more of those R slash army stories. Those are those that was that was <laughs> terribly funny. Like painfully funny. Yep. Um Chuck Ritter, who's another former special operations guy okay um he has coined the term which i love this is amazing alfalfa male alfalfa yep. oh my gosh <laughs> and alfalfa males are alpha males that aren't douchebags that aren't yeah so it's like being an alpha male without saying you're an alpha male and doing cool stuff like returning your cart to the cart corral. He changed his profile picture to a shopping cart. And then it got stuck as the shopping cart because Twitter, because he has a verified account, they wouldn't let him change it back for a period of time. <laughs> so he was stuck with a literal shopping cart as his profile picture. So random. It was funny. It was a good, yeah. So he's he's running with the Alpha Alpha thing and, and also Alpha. So it's the Alpha Alpha, A-L-F-A -L -A spelling. Okay. That's his his brand. The alpha male, you know, does all this and does that. One of the pictures they shared this morning at the time of recording was uh, somebody took, it looked like a plastic mold urinal like you would find in a, a porta potty. Okay. And they mounted it to the house and then tied in the drain to the downspout, which on this particular house went down into the ground. So either went into, you know, their septic already or whatever drainage or runoff that they gotcha. had in that neighborhood. Okay. But he's like, Real alpha male stuff, and it's the A L F A. I that's just like a, a throat gagger for me. Alpha, alpha male. It's supposed to be funny. He's making alpha, fun of alpha male. He's making fun of Andrew Taint and his taintisms. Taintisms. Yep. Does do you have another taintism? No, I didn't actually look up. Good. We don't anything. need to talk about him. Okay. He's not worth anything. Uh, well, I have taintisms on here. <laughs> So what? So we had one good comment, and I actually thought. I mean, we have a lot of good comments, but one particular comment was from our uh, inside man that has all the information on Mike Glover. Oh yeah, yeah. He was responding to one of the videos, okay, and he just put in quotes, "bone ape tit." What? And I was like, because I don't, bone I don't ape tit. I don't read the entire transcript. Okay. I correct the stuff where I make clips. But I don't read. Is the, that what the transcript said? No, but that's what I asked. I was like, "Did we really say that?" It's like, "Can you tell me where?" He was like, "No, no, no." It was in, it was in response to the man, uh, the husband being breastfed by the wife, and that's what she says to him every night as bone ape tit. Ape? What? Why? So the appetite? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it was good. Both, <laughs> both the confusion that I had trying to figure out if we really said <laughs> that. <laughs> bone ape. Tit. Yep, bone ape tit. And you still wouldn't nurse me. No. Nope. No. Nope. Because I don't like milk. Would you nurse me? Would I nurse you? I'm saying would like would you want me? I already said on the show no, 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 that no, no, if no, I no, was no, swollen no, and engorged, no, I would hope that you not, would help not me. Not in out. the emergency situation because yeah, they only, continue doing it. No, I no. <laughs> I was talking about in the emergency situation. I would hope that you would help me out. Um You'll love this. Oh, gosh. Cause what? Because you, you won't care. The uh, NCAA football game oh. uh, covers came out. Okay. Both of them, the regular cover uh, and the deluxe edition or whatever, both have Michigan Donovan Edwards front and center on both covers for the game. One, the uh, like the standard version has like three of the top players, like the most talked about players last year. So Quinn Ewers from Texas, who's the quarterback. Uh, one of the guys from Colorado that was coached by Coach Prime. I don't remember his name, Hunter or something like that. And then Donovan Edwards. And then 
the main, like the deluxe edition cover has a bunch of players, but Donovan Edwards is closest to the camera. They're all walking out into a stadium mm -hmm. and he's the closest to the camera, takes up the most, the majority of it. And then the trailer came out today at the time of recording this. Okay. And one of the best clips in the trailer is a simulated version of a real moment that happened in the Michigan Ohio State game. And it's Donovan Edwards stiff arming an Ohio State player's face into the ground as he's running in for a touchdown. Did that give you a semi? Yeah. It was perfect, EA Sports. That's how you come back from being a shit brand that nobody likes. You make the Michigan fans happy. Mm. It was good. It was it was perfect. I reshared it and everything already. Aww. Just that just that one second clip. I shared it on my Facebook and on my Twitter. And I said, I love it, but I'm not buying the game. <laughs> I don't even have a video game console, so Yeah. I don't play games. I mean, I'll play Grand Theft Auto like once a year. And that's about the extent of it. When's the last time I That's you and Chloe's bonding experience. I sometimes too. Or Cash stands there and watches. Yeah, yeah. He likes to just watch yeah. a little bit. I think Cooper had played a couple times. Yeah, he's not really into it. No, he loves his... Uh, it's it's really you and Chloe. Minecraft. That's what Cooper likes. He's, well, and he, he, he likes he's, to sit in his room well, with he, this Yeah, he, he's into coding. He, he built his own game on there. Yeah, well... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, yeah. he's into coding. That's yeah. what he, he... Yeah, that's what he's into. I'm just saying, like, he's, I wouldn't call it coding. I, it's a, yes, kind of. It's a semantic thing. I don't, what's that, what's that platform called that he was using? Do you remember? I don't remember. The games that he makes are creepy, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has a unique, unique brain. I don't remember. What was he, what was the one that he brought us up there to show us? Yeah, he was so proud. And it actually kind of creeped me out <laughs> when I said that. Yeah, we, I don't even remember what it was. It was like a person in a room just kind of standing there. And then all of a sudden, there was another person and there wasn't. And we're like, okay, so now what do you do? And he's like, oh, All right, when I, when I pick him up from school in about an hour, I will ask him. To, to show please, us? Yeah, to show us again tonight. That's a big and, complete, Cooper. Yeah, we will. We will. Or what stage are you at? We will follow back around on that one. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Let's see here. Yes. Man, see, this is the problem. This is the problem. I have too many. Like, I'm okay. like, I got, it, I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Well, I have one if you so need help. Yesterday, I was trying yeah. to check our, our metrics. For okay. Apple Podcasts specifically. Okay. So I have to log in through what's called Apple Podcast Connect. Okay. And I requested my, it it forces you every time to request a 2FA code. There, and there's no way by text, which is fucking dumb. Mm -hmm. There's no way around it. Okay. So type in everything, autofill, boom, cross 2FA. Normally it's instant. It comes to my work number and it's like instant. Had somebody tried to? No, no. I messaged was down yesterday for hours. I got the codes last night at 11 p.m. and 12.30 a.m. Interesting. Yeah. So it affected more than just iMessage. It was like all of their internal messaging servers. Hmm. Yeah, iMessage was down. People I had no were, idea. It was trending on Twitter at the end of the day. I didn't. Well, I had no idea. I didn't look into it because sometimes, periodically... Shit just doesn't work. Or mm -hmm. if there's like a lot of congestion, then it just won't send. So I had I didn't have any problem with iMessager yesterday. Maybe you were one of the lucky ones, but it was trending. Maybe. A lot of people. There was when I when I saw it and then connected the dots, it was about nine PM last night, nine thirty. Mm -hmm. And it was like twenty four thousand tweets about it. Oh wow. So I don't know. So what are our matrix look like since you finally got in or no? You never went back to it, did I you? I didn't go back to it, no. Of course you didn't. Did you say matrix? Metrics. Oh, no, you said matrix, but yeah. I, no, I, I don't know. Back in, yeah. I meant to say matrix. No, Whatever. I haven't been back in yet. Um, so I wanted, to, this is like random notes all, okay. in, all throughout here, right? Okay. I thought it'd be cool to talk about some of the, periodically talk about some of the cool military veteran influencers and stuff like that. Okay. And like the ones that are tangential to that, like we've already talked about 
Brandon Herrera, and he wasn't in the military, but. And your sign guy. Yeah. I don't know, sign Zachary Bell. Yeah. Um, but that's not a today thing. I'm just going over my notes here real quick. But I thought it'd be cool to bring up some, uh, like, through your lettermanisms. Oh. And rival dadisms. Oh, I'm down for the rival dad stuff. Yeah. That dude's, what's his name, Simon Holland or something like yes. that? Yeah. Yes. That dude's so funny. Have you did, did, bleh, Have you ever actually looked at what his profile says? Mm-mm. Okay, I'm going to pull this up real quick because it's funny. Take a guess what what it, what you think it might say. Why I would be happy about this. I, I never in my wildest dreams have even considered what his profile would okay. be. So. Okay. <clears throat> My wife bought low sodium bacon, and now I know what it means when somebody says they love you but aren't in love with you. I feel like that's exactly what you would tell me <laughs> if I brought home low sodium bacon. You'd be like, wow, you clearly don't love me. Relatable. This is relatable content. Yeah. Which don't worry, guys. I've never made that mistake. No. Not yet. Not never. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, sometimes the store puts things in the wrong place, and you might reach in there and grab a stack nope. of stuff. I look at every single okay. package okay. when I buy something. Okay. As we talked about in this previous episode, have to. So I posted my own uh, rival dadism a while back. I think I've actually done a couple of them now at this point. Okay. What was your there. rival dadism? We were in the school drop off line a couple months ago. Yeah. And I look over, and there's this dude sitting in his GMC Sierra. Elbow fucking deep, <laughs> digging in there, just fucking oh my god, scratching his whole goddamn brain, giving himself, you know, deep throating through yeah. his nose. The kids saw it and everything. We all had a good laugh. And did you guys roll down the windows? And I said, be that, like, I said, hey man, yeah, I said that I pointed and laughed to and help him embarrass himself even more. Okay, yeah, I don't remember what my other ones were, but that was that one was that, important. That one. Yeah is permanently ingrained in your brain yeah. you guys don't know this account you've probably seen the memes and just don't know but he's he posts the majority of the stuff on twitter um didn't realize i was supposed to know or know how to do everything by my second rodeo that's still a very low number of rodeos is that regarding a that's second what, marriage pin post that's just this pin post i'm guessing that's regarding a second marriage no it's about anything people are like it's not my first rodeo mm-hmm. as in like Oh, yeah, I just not my first time. I just learned how to build a nuclear bomb. Well, it's not my <laughs> first time. No, you know? don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. We already I, have stalkers. We don't need those kind of. Stalkers. I wore ankle socks today, and some Gen Z kid said they'll they could tell I was in my thirties, which was pretty sweet because I'm in my forties. Ah, uh, <laughs> funny, funny, funny. That I've I've had to use that before um, buying alcohol somewhere and being like. Oh, I left my ID or whatever, but I've got gray hair and I've got four kids. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not under 21. Yep. Never going to happen again. Yeah, this, um, I don't know. if you guys don't know who Three or Letterman is. Please enlighten them. Oh I'm God. sure most of our viewers. He's a, he's a, there has to be a different term for this because it's not troll. He trolls people, but he's not like. He's a troll, just like you're a troll. No, he's better than that. Mm. He's a youth. You, you don't have to be a troll youth football in just coaching a legend. negatives. Youth football coaching legend. Okay. okay. He okay. has so many championship rings that he cannot open doors. <laughs> he has to have somebody open one of his players open doors for him because he has too many rings <laughs> to grab the doorknob. Okay. The little handle ones, that's okay. And he says stuff like, I kicked the kid off of my team yeah. because yeah. they said they were going on a vacation to Europe. So he's youth football coaching legend, diehard Georgia fan, three-year high school football letterman, mm -hmm. show-stopping little league umpire. Show-stopping. Region champion, three-way tie. Okay. Okay. He has a book. This is actually, I believe, his second book. It's three-year letterman, okay. not some random clown. Okay. A youth football coaching legend's rise to glory. And he releases about a chapter a month on Twitter. What? Because you can write really long form posts if you're a Twitter blue or X premium subscriber. A chapter a month? So he's not actually published? No, he is. He, it's on Amazon, I believe. 
Yeah, so, I'm so confused. So he's been releasing it in a in a long thread. <laughs> it's so random. Dumb bitch juice. <laughs> oh my god. He retweets everybody that talks shit to him. Okay. So if somebody's like, you're dumb, you're right, right, has, right. they have a really bad opinion, he retweets them mm -hmm. as if he like approves what they're saying, which right, is right. hilarious. Um, 28 minutes ago, America is the, line space, line space, oldest, greatest, freest, fittest, largest, smartest, strongest, richest country in the world that also has the best food. Best beaches, highest mountains, tallest man-made structure. Guess what that is? The Statue of Liberty. Cleanest air and water, largest bodies of water, and most SEC championships. Okay. I was waiting for something like raunchy or crazy being thrown in there. Yeah, no. That's So he, he loves to troll people and say that uh, Jesus was literally the greatest American ever. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, people get really uh, butthurt about that one. Yep. Uh, oh, he loves stating that Ben Franklin was a president. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, and you know what's crazy? People actually believe that. Well, a lot of the stuff that he tweets are things that are like close to true mm -hmm. or close enough. But in order to find the ambiguity and like the nuances to it, you actually have to know the truth so he's like right there all the time mm -hmm. right there with something so he actually he'll troll people and say something like uh stuff about hippo but he spells it hippo in, no h-i-p-p-a it's h-i-p-a-a and people get so mad because they think he's actually talking about the health Information, what is he actually talking about? He just made his own word, but oh be, because most people do spell it H I P P A, but that's not what it is. It's an initialism, or actually, it's an acronym because it does create a word. Right. So yeah. Wow. He has a lot of time on his hands, and I. He donates all of his money. I know you did tell to, me like, that. Like children's cancer so, charities and stuff like that. I give him props for that one. Um. I'm going to take a brief break real quick and pause because the laptop is dying. I need something to charge you. Give me a second. Who's your favorite social media influencer? Well, I'm not on social media, so I can't even answer that. Oh, from I'd... the past. Oh, Who gosh. are the accounts that you followed regularly and thought were the funniest? Honestly, I can't remember her name, but there was one girl who was really funny, and that's super fucking vague. Kind of marbles? I don't know. I don't remember her from the early YouTube days. I have no idea who that is. Oh. She was, um, I don't know what she was popular for other than talking about her dogs. Oh, this girl is like, she's popular for posting terrible dating uh, situations. Like, I just. She was in? Or yeah, yeah. Like, stories? I just went on the worst date ever. I should have just stayed home and eaten with my dog on the couch or whatever. Like, just funny little quips like that. Were, were there any, like, recurring themes? So, three or let men. One of his best insults, or one of many, is uh, if he thinks you're unintelligent, mm -hmm. you probably finance your waterbed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, not a reoccurring thing like, like that. that. Just terrible dates. So what is this? I want to read this tweet, but I, I need to know the context first. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is from a different account, and he's responding to it. Okay. Breaking news. World number one golfer Scotty Scheffler has been detained by police in handcuffs after misunderstanding with traffic flow led to his attempt to drive past a police officer into Valhalla Golf Club. The police officer... I had to expand it real quick, sorry. Uh, the police officer... Police officer attempted to attach himself to Scheffler's car and Scheffler then stopped his vehicle at the entrance to Valhalla. The police officer then began to scream at Scheffler to get out of the car. When Scheffler exited the vehicle, the officer shoved Scheffler against the car and immediately placed him in handcuffs. He is now being detained in the back of a police car. This is apparently a reporter. And then I'm just guessing by this that this is an a professional golfer. Yeah, that's oh, what I said. Okay. So five hours ago. Okay. These charges must be dismissed. You cannot arrest a citizen in another state as it violates full faith and credit. Full faith and credit, okay. Yep. Have you ever heard of sovereign citizens? Mm. There is a 
group of people. Oh God, is they, this a tinfoil hat situation? They probably are those two. Okay. Uh, th there's a group of people. Okay. That live among us <laughs> here in the United States. Among us. Yeah. That believe mm -hmm. that if they are in their POV, their privately owned vehicle. Okay. On a city street or in a parking lot, whatever, it doesn't matter. But if they're in their vehicle, okay, they are a sovereign citizen, and that I'm not you cannot, following, you cannot touch them or talk to them or stop them. They don't have to stop for your lights and sirens because they are in their vehicle doing their own thing. So rules don't apply, laws don't apply. Yeah. yeah. And coincidentally, what? so so bringing this, this is a completely separate story. I posted, I took it from somebody on Twitter. Uh, but I kind of changed the words of it okay. to make it a little bit funnier. But I said, uh, or the original tweet and then what I changed it to was something along the lines of, um, you, you can't get a ticket according to the home base law if you make it to your driveway before the officer pulls you over. The home base law. Yeah. And so I was like, no, you have to be in the garage with the garage door closed. Mm -hmm. And then they can't give you a ticket. So, yeah. And just a yeah. couple weeks ago, a DA. I think that's probably where it came from. Gotcha. And actually, I think the three-year letterman is the one that posted about the home base law, and then I changed a little bit. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah. People genuinely don't believe the rules apply. Yeah, seriously. They think that if they're in their vehicle, hmm. you can't do anything about it. Wow. Good to know. Yep. Everybody's batshit crazy. Well, yeah. But no, but I mean, yeah, but. But yeah. But yeah. We've got some of the craziest people ever in the government, mm -hmm. both because they're old and senile, but also because they literally want nothing more than to give themselves power, which is stupid. It is insanity. We should get rid of all of them and start over. Agreed. They're uh, stomping down some anti- Two A people, left and right, mm. yeah. Which here's what I like about this. Okay, these people that are presenting these laws and amendments and things like that, they're doing so mm -hmm. at a time when the majority of the Supreme Court are former. I think technically you're not supposed to have any sort of political leanings while you're on the on the court. But they are right-leaning, traditionally, okay. and prior to them taking that seat on the bench or whatever it's called. And they have adamantly, mm -hmm. and even some of the ones that are left-leaning, have written some things regarding gun laws and gun rights and some other human rights and American rights and things like that. Mm -hmm. And they are definitely a freedom-leaning mm -hmm. and not a government-leaning group of people currently so I, I agree with pretty much everything that they do and mm -hmm. have done in the last couple of years or so uh, what's happening is Colorado is a perfect example they tried to create a new ban or law it never made it to Supreme Court because they were destroyed within their own state first but anytime these things pass within the state they eventually make it up to the Supreme Court and then the Supreme, Supreme Court slaps it down and then that sets the precedent for the rest of the country that you're not going to get away with this. You're not going to do it. So please continue with the stupidity because the more and more and more you try, the fewer avenues that you will have left. You won't be able to revisit this because it'll be a final ruling, a final judgment. Oh, yeah. I love it. Okay. What's the next topic? Did I, did I read you the ghost we read that on the last episode, right? The ghost gun, bullet, button, all that nonsense. No. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm 100% sure, certain that I did, if I can talk. What am I on? Oh, I'm still on three. Oh, my God. What is happening? None of this makes... You're truly a dumbass. That's the first thing that jumped out of me. We're the oldest, greatest, proudest, richest, strongest. I mean, most of these things are true. We're not the oldest. I mean, we <laughs> we have one of the oldest populations. So, if you play with the words, if you play with the words, <laughs> it kind of works. Anyways. But yeah. 
So he also loves to say that Jesus is the greatest American to ever live. And he literally wrote the Bible in America. You did mention that already. But I, I just wanted to add the Bible yeah. part in there. Yeah. Ben Franklin is the greatest president mm -hmm. ever. You mentioned that. Yep. Um, there's a lot of other good ones. Oh, he has his own. Um, so the, the rankings for college football. Okay. He has his own rankings that he sets arbitrary rules to. And then if something happens, he's like, well, you know, rule number one, that really didn't apply to this one because like I didn't have his shoes tied. And if you look back at my other things, you'll see that shoes tie is important. So there's always something. There's always something for him to rig it in his favor. Which so is again, it sounds like he has a lot of time on his hands. And Maybe he should focus more on coaching these little kids. His his Mother's Day post was something along the lines of um, he was umpiring for a Little League baseball game. And it was on Mother's Day. Okay, mm -hmm. And he said, I don't care if it's your day or whatever. Like, you can't yell at me when I kick your kid out of the game. So she kicked her or he kicked her out of the game as well. And then when all the other mothers stood up, he's like, you know what? Just all the women out of here. I guarantee you that did not happen. <laughs> it didn't. He's not actually an umpire. <laughs> of all the things on the internet, that one definitely did not happen. But it's funny. It's hilarious. You only it, think it's funny it's because funny. it would never happen to you. It would never happen. And well, for one, it didn't happen. It would never happen. Mm -hmm. And because people believe it. He also goes around when people talk about immunizations or uh, vaccines and things like that. He'll respond with, I make sure that um, all of my players get common sense injections as well. Like Common two, sense but, injections? But listen, he'll, he's like two milligrams of uh, steroids and testosterone. Oh my God. <laughs> and people are like, you're going to be arrested for child <laughs> abuse. And he's like, they can't arrest me because I'm a sovereign citizen. Oh my God. Never breaks character, ever. Never. Watch him be like a twenty-four-year-old still living at home with his no, mommy. No, he's been doing it for a while. Right, and he might have started when he was like seventeen. He has half a million subscribers. Yeah, and maybe he like modeled this idea off of some, some random guy who lived on his street. But somehow, I'm just like spinning here somehow, that this guy is not grown at all. Somehow. He's making money yeah. somewhere else and still you, living on Twitter. Or he lives at home with his mommy. No, no. No, this is a successful person. Because you want him to be. No. You believe if, no, no, him no, to be, no, no, listen, so you want him no, to be. If he wasn't, why would, he makes like between one and two grand like every week, every other week from Twitter. Right. If he was living in mommy and daddy's basement. Why would he donate it to charity? Why wouldn't he actually use it to move out? He posts what he makes mm -hmm. and he posts the receipts. Okay. I know you've told me. Yeah. I'm just speculating here that he has way too much time on his hands. And why else would you have so much time on your hands if you don't actually have a full-time job? Well, other than his replies to other things could be scheduled. Like, Replying real time, obviously. I don't know. The do amount that. of time that you spend on Twitter and he seems to post even more than you, like that's there, a lot. There are bots and automations and things like that that you can set up. Like I have one set up that looks for specific hashtags. I haven't ever used it, mm -hmm. but it was like, so Brandon Herrera, Donut, um, a couple others, they would always post, like I'm on a plane, uh, ask me anything. It's hashtag AMA. They'll post on Twitter and on Reddit. And then Should we do an ask me anything? Sure. Let's do a whole I'll, episode. I'll post about it and see if people want to. Well, we would have to do a live. It would have to be a live uh, stream that people could ask can't, us. Why can't we do like on some platform, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, something? You're just going to get people that are going to ask, why is your wife half naked? Okay. Well, we'll skip those questions, like real questions. Okay. okay. Ask us anything okay. for... Uh, it would be like two weeks two, from now. Yeah. So this will be coming out Thursday of next week, Maybe. right? I don't know the order yet. Okay. Hypothetically, this is coming out sometime next week. So yeah. 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 Let's do yeah. that. Let's do it. Okay. Um, Talking about, what was I? I'm talking about the real letterman, the ad revenue. What came after that? They made, oh, so I built a bot. Yes. And the handle is plain AMA. Okay. Yeah, plain AMA. Okay. Don't ever use it. Haven't used it. 
Um, the profile exists and it says automated by Lamex Media, but it doesn't, it hasn't done anything yet. But so it looks for that hashtag and it only looks at their account specifically. And then it just retweets them with a question. But you haven't used it? No. So why do you have it? I never got around to like fully, because I, I needed like to see it happen and then go turn it on so I could test it and make sure that it only does their accounts. Mm, okay. Because I don't want to, I don't want people to game it and then them, because there, there are bots. There's like one that's called make it a quote and they'll take your profile picture and uh, dramatize it like black and white. Mm -hmm. And then whatever words were in your tweet. Mm -hmm. And it's like one of those motivational poster kind of things. So it's like your profile picture and then the stupid thing that you said and then your username. Well. Aww. <laughs> so there's that one. That's a good one. It's like, you're so stupid. Look at you. Yeah. Okay, got it. There's a bunch of them like that. And all you do is you just tweet at that and, you, and then whatever like the keywords are mm -hmm. and then it'll respond to you gotcha. with that thing. Okay. Yeah. It's good. But there's, uh, I believe there's limitations on like how many... Um, or like, especially for new bots without mm -hmm. you being like flagged as spam. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want people to jump on it mm -hmm. and then it be unlocked to every account. So I locked it down to the parameters of like my accounts mm -hmm. that I could test it and then their accounts and stuff like that. But because my all my accounts use the same login, mm -hmm. you know, centralized login account, I thought that maybe that might like it might always work for me because I don't I don't protect myself from myself. Okay. But they You've might, already lost me. They might have settings that block that from happening. So like on Facebook, right? You can block people from tagging you. I wouldn't know. Yeah. You can block people from like t without you approving it. So it can go to like post approval. They can't tag you in pictures if you don't want it to be to be tagged in pictures, stuff like that. Same thing on Twitter. You can block okay. people from tagging you or not. Usually, like, famous people and politicians block people because they don't want you to. Mm -hmm. The Reader Letterman does it anyways to a lot of them. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll tag the most random people in a picture. He'll be talking about, like, I don't know, animals at the zoo. Mm -hmm. And then he'll tag, like, Oprah, CNN, some famous random movie star. Okay. Yeah, like, just... The most random things mm -hmm. every time. You wouldn't even know. Yeah. And then every time he has something go viral mm -hmm. or somebody gets really, really mad mm -hmm. and the comments have like come out against him, he retweets whatever that threat is mm -hmm. and he uses the Jon Snow gif from the episode end of season seven, I believe, okay. when they're retaking Winterfell and like everybody's charging and he hasn't had backup yet and he's pulling out a sword. So that's it's been years since we watched it. Yeah, it's it's just a gif of so you see Jon Snow from the back and you see him drawing a sword okay. and everybody charging after him. And that's his gif that he uses in response to every time the mob comes out against him on Twitter. Okay. So this episode has been about funny stuff. Funny stuff. Yeah. Ha ha. He he. Ho ho. Ha ha. Okay. Sure. I'll leave that one. <laughs> Uh, anything else? I think that's it. You think that's it? I think that's it. So we shot over 100 subscribers really fast. We're almost to 200 right now. Really? Do we do the 250 giveaway or do we push this? Should we say, should we go like right to like... 500. 500, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you guys got my belly button at 1,000, so... Yeah. All right. Just make sure to hashtag belly button play in there because fucking... People are weird and searching yeah. for belly button yep. play. Yep. That's it for us. Um, you these, guys are weird. These episodes will come out and you might see me in this shirt on Monday and a different shirt on Tuesday and then this shirt again on Thursday. Or you might see me in this shirt on Monday and Tuesday and a different shirt on Thursday. Or you might see me in a different shirt on Thursday or Monday and the same shirt on Tuesday and one episode might come out the next week. It just all depends. We're at a point okay. now. We're at a point now where we're strategically recording enough content that we can hold some that aren't time sensitive and then release something like a Mike Glover story. Right. So that's why I stopped including the episode numbers. If nobody noticed that. It's very smart. Yep. 
that's it for us. Um, thanks for watching. Have a thanks good, for stalking. Have, yeah. Really appreciate you. Have a have a good another amount of time until the next time that you hear from us. Okay. Bye. Bye.